Hello everybody, this is Colin underscore two good games, and today we're going to be making the top-down shooter um, blueprint. So this is like the top-down already in the game. I mean in the uh, in the uh, templates, but the uh, difference is that it does not use your mouse input for movement. The other one uses your right click, which is not optimal for a shooter. It works for MOBAs, but not for what we're making. So as you can see, we have top down. We're using movement on the controller, and you can also blink, which will be a move in the game. Um, that's just a. Uh, uh, it's just a pretty basic version of it before we go into the more advanced version of it. So see, as you can see, all this works really well. So let's get into how it works or how it's made. First of all, the blink is a little long, but I made this tutorial before for blinking. It's the exact same thing with some minor changes. Um, second, stop character. Okay, so the first change is that uh, the first change is that we have a can't move variable. We add that branch at the beginning, um, and a can blink variable right there. And uh, actually, I think that's in the normal one too. And a blinking to make sure you can't just spam it. So we have three branches. Another one, we had some more with how many you can do. I'm going to add that in later. And uh, we set blinking to true right away, if it's false, so that way you can't blink again. Launch the character, same blink as always. Um, the delay is 0.06, the launch is 6750 this time. The character movement gets stopped immediately. You set blinking to be false, like it's finished. You make sure the character can't move now, as you do a delay of 0.4 seconds, and you make them can move again. Then. The changed part is this, use event tick, which goes into a branch that goes into stop movement immediately. The branch is the can't move variable and is off of true. If they can't move, they no longer can move. And it's every single tick that this happens, that's what event tick is. Um, one thing I forgot to say, this is the third person blueprint, third person template. Um, so it's pretty easy to use, just some minor modifications. Uh, next, you're going to want to disable all the gamepad inputs. Um, which is this and this, these two events. Then you're going to want to disable all the mouse inputs, which is this one and this one. Again, disable them. And you want to disable jump, unless you want a jumping top-down shooter, um, which is just pressed and released with jump and stop jumping. And that is actually almost every thing that's changed. That's everything in the event graph that's different. So we have the blink, which I'll put over here. We have the stop character. Disabled all of this. VR, I mean, we don't have a VR, so it doesn't matter. And we have the default movement and input. And now you're going to want to go to your viewport. Click on camera boom. Set target arm length to zero. Normally it's like 300, I think. Then you're going to want to go into the target offset. Set the Z axis to 819 or some type of thing on the z-axis. It just makes it go really high in there. And then next, you're going to click on the camera and um, rotate it 90 degrees on the y. Go back to the camera boom. Go back to the camera boom. You're going to want to um, enable camera lag. So just click that button. And that is it. So now if you compile everything up, we now have Full move mechanics with the tracer blink, which uses a custom input. You can use whatever you want. It works with the gamepad. All that works together. Um, as you can see, I'm recording in 30 FPS, but it runs 60 easily if you're wondering. Um, so, yeah. I'm sorry about uh, not uploading for the past five days. I've been um, pretty busy for two of the three days and. Uh, the other three, I was uh, in Texas and uh, looking at a game studio. It's pretty cool. Or getting a tour of it. Um, and so I think that is... That was weird. That's just a problem with the uh, Xbox controller. Okay. Um, so that's about it, guys.
I'll be uploading more tutorials. Um, since I toured the game studio, I realized I have a completely false idea of how you make levels. So we're going to go into that, which is, you know, the whole blocking out and uh, slowly replacing everything. Um, which should take about, I don't know, uh, 10 minutes or so. Just going through all the mechanics. So I may record that today, but I'd release it probably this week because I'm going to be really busy this week. But uh, that's about everything, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, as always, you could join my Discord server in the uh, link below. There's still 93 available slots, I believe. Um, you can, you know, join that, request anything you want, ask any questions you have. Uh, I do answer my comments and everything, but I will answer much quicker to anything in the Discord server because uh, it's easier to get notifications from. And uh, if you have any requests for what you want to see in this game, you can um, send them to me. Right now, just so you guys know what's coming up, I have a few requests. Let me just pop them up quickly. There's also a document in the description below. Um, that document will be everything about the game currently that we're making. Here we go. So right now we have the uh, estimated time the title, the genre, and um, all the requests we've had so far, minus some that we've already done, some more up here. So we're making all of this, we have time lapses, tutorials, everything else. We have character sheets, we have a story, pretty basic story, some lore about the game, um, uh, so jetpack system, nope. Um, but so life system we're going to be adding, an inventory system, um, or something like that. It's going to be, um, kind of like Deus Ex in a way. Um, you can replace your arm and everything. It's pretty cool. A hunger, hunger and thirst system. Nope, that is not something we're adding. Whoops. Um, and some bad guys and good guys and stuff. Uh, so these are the requests we've had so far. If you have any more requests, just add it in. I'll talk about the request and say if we can do it or not. We may have a crafting system. I mean, I don't see the point of it. And a loot system. We are most definitely having. But, so yeah. So that's everything about the game so far. It's going to be a top-down shooter. Um, off of your guys' requests. Just remember that. Anything you want in this game, I will make sure I'll try and have it. Or something like it. Um, any items you guys have an idea for, I'll add that, and so on and so forth. And so as always, everyone, thank you for watching, and uh, as I say every day, have a good day.